without the high performance fuel coursing through the heart of their 1000 horsepower power units, Formula One cars would simply be very expensive and very immobile works of art. The fuel that powers each car on the grid is vital to performance. In fact, engineers will tell you its composition is just as important to a car's power delivery as the design of the pistons inside the engine itself. And the drivers are so finely tuned to the qualities of the fuel that's powering them that when their technicians bring in a new blend to the track, they can detect if it's delivering even one extra horsepower under their right foot. Everything in Formula One is at the cutting edge of technology, as the teams face an endless battle to find an advantage in a sport where races and even championships are won and lost by the smallest of margins. But what's the difference between the high-performance fuel that powers Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen around the world's most challenging racetracks and the petrol you buy from the garage forecourt which gets you to work and the supermarket? Well, the perhaps surprising answer is actually not a lot. In fact, if you filled up your road car with the fuel used by Formula One teams, it would probably run like a dream you probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference, although you might find that you had a little bit more oomph than your engine than usual. And amazingly, you could even fill up the Aston Martin AMR24 or any of the cars on the F1 grid with the very same petrol you use every day. And it would run, for a while at least. But there would be a big loss in performance and potentially a big loss of reliability. This is very much by design on the part of F1's rule makers. The regulations are written to ensure road relevancy for F1 fuels and to help keep costs down by limiting the fuel suppliers in what base materials they're allowed to use. So F1 fuels and road car petrol are very similar, but they're not identical and the difference between the two can really be summed up by one word, precision. Road car petrol is designed as a one-size-fits-all solution. It has to be compatible with every make and model of car on the road. And it has to work in all sorts of conditions from bitterly cold winter days to the height of summer. And it has to cope with every kind of driving requirement from long freeway hauls where a hot engine needs to sit at 70 miles an hour for hours on end down to short, sharp stop-start trips through the traffic into town. Whereas Formula One fuel has one job only to power a finely tuned high-speed racing car around a track as quickly as possible. It's designed for the very top end of performance to serve a 1,000 horsepower power unit running at 13,000 RPM and at 200 miles an hour in a world where a difference between winning and losing, glory and defeat, can be a fraction of a second or a single misfire. As I said earlier, the F1 rules dictate the components and materials which the various suppliers must use to make up the race fuel and these are essentially the same ingredients found in road car fuel. But then it's up to the specialist F1 engineers and the technicians to blend those different chemicals to try to extract the maximum possible level of performance. And it's not just about finding the most powerful cocktail, it's also about tailoring the fuel to each different power unit. The fuel suppliers and the team's engine departments now worked hand in glove to develop both in conjunction to ensure they're working in perfect harmony and therefore delivering as much performance as possible. So while you could put the fuel developed for the Ferrari engine into the power unit for the Aston Martin AMR24 and it would run just fine, it wouldn't be as competitive as when running on the fuel that's been specifically developed for that hardware. In fact, there was a time when fuel manufacturers in F1 had specially designed blends for different circuits, different weather conditions, and rumour has it, even different drivers, as they tried to exploit every tiny marginal gain they could, though this level of development has now been banned in a bid to cut costs. You can think of it like this. Road car fuel is like a fast food meal, whereas Formula One fuel is as if a Michelin star chef took all of the same ingredients and then crafted a meal especially for your personal tastes. Fast food for the masses versus fine dining specifically tailored for your palate. But everything is about to change when it comes to Formula One fuels, and this is a development that could genuinely change the world. In 2026, Formula One is banning the use of fossil fuels. No longer will F1 cars be running on petrol derived from oil pumped out of the ground. 
The new regulations state that the fuels cannot be derived from fossil sources or from crops grown on land that could be otherwise used for growing food. It's a seismic shift and represents a fundamental change for the oil companies and the car manufacturers. Two of the biggest industries in the world have been challenged by Formula One to solve this problem and their technicians are already working flat out to try to achieve something they've never done before. It's a huge undertaking and it's forcing engineers to look at sources of power they've never previously considered. Things like household waste and industrial leftovers will be key to these new fuels. For example, waste cooking oil can be reused, as can things like sawdust and wood shavings from big furniture makers. At least one company is even looking at growing pond algae as a potential ingredient. So come 2026, Formula One will be a fossil fuel free sport. And the best thing about this development is these new sustainable compounds being worked on will be so-called drop-in fuels. That means they'll be absolutely compatible with existing engines, so the teams could use these new fuels in their current F1 cars without a problem. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Not only will these new fuels be perfect for powering high-performance racing cars, but the same technology can be deployed to the world's road cars as well. That means when the fuel companies scale up this technology, every petrol car on the planet could run on these entirely fossil fuel-free fuels with no loss of performance or efficiency and no need for any expensive hardware changes. It's truly a world-changing prospect and one that's being driven by the power of Formula One.